Hello friends, today I will be showing you how to do this. Hello friends, how are you doing? Trust you are doing good. I am doing great. So welcome to ELP. So today I want to show you a simple test effect in After Effects. Shall we? Okay, let's get right into it. So just click on after opening your After Effects, you would probably see this. So just click on New Composition. I would like to go for new composition then yeah so i want this we can leave it up 1920 by 1080 that is cool then let me change the color to something different Sarah. okay i think this is good yeah so nice we are good to go just click okay yes so after clicking okay you are you would add this so what i want to do right now is i want to select this rectangle to right here i want to draw a rectangle draw a rectangle yeah i think it's cool okay so you can just change you can select your move to and uh, now what we want to do is that we want to duplicate this rectangle to we are not duplicating it here but we are duplicating it here so that it will still remain in this box for us to when you left click your mouse of option then you left click your mouse this should do yeah so this is cool I think I just want to you can see that on our timeline the test is not I mean the shape layer is not duplicated you know um, um as as to maybe if you duplicate it from here if you duplicate it from here you have to but we are using this one okay so that's good now I want to write my test but I have already written my test, right? So I'll just go ahead and select my move to move. I mean, test to. I'll go ahead and select my test to, and you know, just paste my test. Yeah. So that is good. That is good. Let us increase it, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that right now. Just click on the subscription subscribe button and turn on the notification to get you know notified whenever i upload new videos right okay so now let's get back to the video so now what we need to do is that we need to place this shape above the text for us to achieve what we want to achieve right now okay so we have that done already yeah, I would like to align my my test. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, so now you need to you need to ensure you look at this bottom side of your screen. Look at my look at the screen. Pay attention to it. You will see toggle switches right here where my cursor is. If if it is not clicked like this, you won't be able to see the effect. But you need to click on toggle switch. If you are not seeing what I'm about to show you now, if you can't see this, then you need to click on toggle switch. There's nothing wrong with your laptop, it's just that you need to switch it, right? Okay, so now we need to click on this, then click on alpha, alpha inverted mat, right? Okay, now, so this is cool. Our shapes have disappeared, but our test, our test still remains, right? okay so what we need to do right now is just to drag this test down and we see that the effect is good can you see and that is the work of math math will make it seem as if the test is this has disappeared meanwhile the, the shape is still there it's just that it is not visible but by the time you move your test under it it will cover it up and by the time you put effect on it, it will make it seem as if it is coming out from that place. Do you get it? That's the work of alpha math, right? Okay, so now what we need to do is to put an effect on our test. It already has a little effect, but now we need to put it motion on it so that it can move by itself, by itself, right? Okay, so just click on position, turn on the Turn on the stopwatch for position, then move it forward a little bit. Let's move it forward a little bit. Yeah, I think that's cool. Then let's adjust this. 
let's pull it down a little bit so now there are two ways at which you can achieve this let me let me click ctrl z to go back okay so you can drag it from up here ensure you turn on turn on your stopwatch before you do this effect if you don't turn on your top watch, stopwatch you won't be able to the effect will work you will just be moving the 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 position up and down and you will see the effect of your test can you see what just happened right now can you see what just happened that is the magic right there right okay so now i would like to increase this a bit and make the test faster all you need to do is just make an adjustment to your keyframe it is called keyframe all you need to do, to do is just make adjustment to it and watch it move yeah so this is what we want to, this is what we have achieved one part of the effect so now it's remaining one before you continue the second part which i want to come back on right now we need to click on this keyframe just follow me you may not get it now right but as you practice you begin to understand it right so just click on this and what this will do is that it will make this this our test it will make it to stop on the screen while the other effect you know uh, is being activated or takes you know its form so now we need to take it off let's move it under the other shape you know we created these two shapes right okay so let's take this back a little bit and see what we are going to have right here can you see can you see can you see yeah so that's it that is the magic right there friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel please and that is it for today i hope you've learned something new this channel is to help you have an understanding of how to use after effects and how to use simple test effects that i discover right okay so when when you subscribe you get to see more effects and check out my videos right to see what i have done before all right that will be it for now and bye